hey guys and welcome back to another video so continuing with the uh, uses of react and axios uh, in today's video we'll be seeing how you can perform an update request or a put request and a delete request using axios in react so uh, let's get started and in the previous video if you have not uh, if you are not familiar of how you can do a simple get and a post request uh, please do check the previous video where I have shown you how you can perform that which is a get and a post request uh, using a fake online uh, API service and that is a JSON placeholder I'll surely link that uh, in the description below do check that out uh, okay now so let's get started with the put request so as in my previous video I've already created a component a basic uh, home component uh, which is this with simple division and uh, I've imported uh, within my app.js and uh, this is my uh, main app.js uh, component so uh, let's get uh, started with the update handler so this is my update handler basically the approach is similar to the post and you'll just have a uh, alteration in the link so you can just uncom un uncomment this and I'll just show you the entire thing once the uh, thing is visible. Okay, so this is my update handler. Similar to the post handler, post data handler, you will have a uh, variable that is a data where I've just updated uh, OK Texture to new. So it actually uh, doesn't relate to the JSON API uh, service uh, but it actually mimics the entire put request so if you send this data and perform a put request using axios so this is how you can perform a basic put request it is an uh, update request actually with an alteration in the link so uh, for, uh, uh, for a post request you did had a link which was just below here right you didn't you didn't have this one it was something like this right for update you will have something over here like this so update one and uh, i'll just show you the data where, uh, where the link is provided so this is the post uh, sorry the put link so slash one so this is the link which you can use to perform a put request you can just change it over here and similarly to the post data you can just comma the data which is which we have provided over here and simply just uh, provide a promise that is a then and a catch uh, brackets and uh, yep you can simply do that and uncomment the part you can provide a two button which is an update button and a delete button so for update you will have an handler that is an on click a handler for the update data method which one which is this one and you can bind it to that button and uh, this is for the similarly for the delete which i'll show you in a minute so let's uh, start with npm start and uh, you can wait for a minute uh, and you can see okay so we have the component up and running and uh, let's see the update request oh okay so the response is somewhat like this stated status is 200 and okay this the new and yeah it's almost similar so this is how you can perform a, an update request it's, it's actually mimicking the update uh, procedure so the entire thing is been mimicked by this uh, service so it actually doesn't relate any uh, update thing but uh, it performs the request which is more important because for the demonstration purpose it is it's enough right it's performing the request so this is how you can perform an update request using axios you just have to change the link uh, with slash one and the data remains the same so this is the 
link for it okay one minute uh, i'll just okay yeah so you can perform an update request search uh, almost like this now we'll get into the delete request okay so similarly the update we'll just uncomment this so this is our delete handler delete data and uh, we'll have the data variable uh, used over here and the uh, url remains the same so json placeholder links let's go to that you can see over here we have a route for delete so it's almost similar to the update we are going to use slash one for delete as well right so just give the url over here and the data as uh, the post and update and you have a then in catch handler for our data response and you bind this uh, delete data handler to the button over here okay so on click event is been triggered over there so let's clear this out and let's see what we have in here okay it's taking time but uh, let's refresh this and see okay the server was not running let's start the server okay okay the server is started and uh, let's click f12 and uh, press the delete option delete button so we have the response with status 200 and as you can see the object we have no data so over here we can see there is no object returned in response so the data has been deleted so this is a basic response of delete so it is actually depend it actually entirely uh, the thing is dependent on the service that is the json placeholder service uh, which actually mimics the entire thing that is the get post update and uh, delete so the data which you manipulate over here doesn't relate to anything it it is just mimicking the uh, uh, procedure that is update delete and things like that right so use this url you can also you can also use this url for uh, getting albums photos and to do's and things like that for basic uh, get update delete and post request you can this you can use these routes like i've done over here and uh, okay so so okay so we are done with the update and delete request so this was a basic uh, idea of how you can use uh, axios library in react for performing http request a synchronous http or an ajax request in react using axios okay so so the previous video was about post and get in this video it was about update and delete so you can see all the videos for more information so okay okay guys uh, this was it for this video and uh, Thanks for watching.